just because I outgrew you don't mean I got beef with you. Like, respectfully. Like, let me let me say it louder for the people that I'm in the back. Just because I outgrew you don't mean I got beef with you. And I feel like a lot of people think that. channel it's your girl vicky xv and i am back with another video so first things first if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button remember to like subscribe comment turn on that bell notification so the next time i upload a video you know you guys can already tell from the title what this video is going to be about so i'm just gonna hop right into it i want to start this video off by saying just because i outgrew you don't mean i got beef with you like respectfully like let me let me say it louder for the people that I'm in the back. Just because I outgrew you don't mean I got beef with you. And I feel like a lot of people think Just because that. I don't talk to you or we not as cool as we used to be or you, you feel what I'm saying? You feel like I don't like you, I don't fuck with you. That's never the case. If I don't like somebody, 10 times out of 10, you'll know because I'll tell you. And that's not like being mm, ah, puffing out my chest. No, I'm. we're going to sit down and we're going to have a conversation because respectfully... I can't keep shit bottled in up for too long because I get disgruntled. So to avoid that, I tell you. But my issue is my delivery. I don't know how to... It's not what I say, it's how I say it. And then I'll like badger the situation. Like I'll really like beat it onto your head. Like I will literally... I, I will be the dead horse. That's me. There's a lot of people that I used to hang out with that I no longer really hang out with. Or we don't talk as much or we're not as close. Or some people I just cut off completely because you are weird <laughs> but that's neither here nor there but it's just like respectfully just because i outgrew you don't mean we got beef you don't gotta worry about me throwing no subs on the internet or doing weird shit on the internet i legit mind my business like respectfully and like most importantly i feel like it's okay to outgrow people like it's a-okay to outgrow people because a we're growing we're evolving we're learning things new every single day and just being around like that that mindset, like you get what I'm saying? Like for an example, I'm from the Bronx. I know for a fact, if I were to go to my neighborhood, the same people that I left there X amount of years ago, they still there. Ain't shit changed with the weather, respectfully. So, but that that also shows you that environment stimulates behavior. Like it, it, it really does. That's why like I'm so, 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 so blessed that I actually took the opportunity to go away to college. That's why I tell all of my nieces, all of my nephews, everybody who's younger than me, who graduated high school, go away to college. That is an awesome experience, but I digress. More of the story is it's okay to outgrow people. It, it, it happens. People change. They meet other people. They evolve. And another thing that I also became um, aware of is like birds of a feather flock together. It's kind of like similar to like you are what you eat, like you are who you hang out with, you know, and um, that took me a while to understand, you know, your parents is always telling you, yo, this person is not, this person is not your friend or, you know, or not even, not even your parents, people on the outside looking in can always see things that you're blindsided by or that's in your blind spot. You, you can't see them because you're sucked up in the woo woo like you know birds of a feather flock together like in those instances like you have to be really really careful because and this is stuff that only you will learn like through experience as you get older god to have a blessing for you right here right here technically all you got to do is reach and take it but the issue is the people you around you get what i'm saying the people you around they haven't grown yet to the level where you are to receive this blessing with you. So as a result, God will pretty much give you an ultimatum. You can come get this blessing or you can chill with them. It is what it is. You can't have both. So there are times where you do have to outgrow people in order to receive those blessings. Like for an example, I ain't trying to drop no names. I'm not trying to be messy. If you feel like I'm messy, that's on you. That's crazy. But I would hang out, well, I, I used to hang out with a large group of people, and um, I'm not going to speak and be like what I, what I think their ambitions and their goals were, but mainly they enjoyed taking trips, and because I was around them so often, I was like, damn, I need to get on a flight and take me a trip too, 
to the point where I'm trying to figure out where I want to go for my birthday. I want to go here, there, there. Then one year, I actually three years ago, it just dawned on me. Like, I'm about to spend all this money to go to Tulum. I got to get a round trip ticket. I got to get the Airbnb. I got to get a wig. I got to get a birthday outfit. That's, that's just that. We're not talking about me going shopping there. We ain't talking about spending money. We ain't talking about Ubers or we're going to get a rental or or... or, or just having money, period, for emergency cases. We ain't even talking about that. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm about to cough up all this money to go spend X amount of days in Tulum when this is money that could be put down on an apartment. I am not about to be catching flights to here, there, there, where, where, here, here, here to come back home and be harassed by my mother. Now, granted, if your mother lives with you in that instance, oh, then I understand. Do your, do your thing. This, this, this ain't shade to you. But if you live with your mama, it still ain't shade. I'm just, I wish I could do that. Gina ain't play that. <laughs> now, mind you, this large group of people who um, I used to like chill with, we all wanted our own like spot. You get what I'm saying? So... Granted, we have the same dreams, but however, I would say we have the same ambitions. I would just say that Tati and I were just more ambitious about it, if that makes sense. And pretty much after we like cut them off and stopped talking to them over some real funny business, but after we stopped like messing with them, we got like so much abundance and so much blessings. We were just so, so at peace. We didn't wake up like disgruntled or having to go hang around other people and their energy is deflecting onto you. Now you're trying to figure out why you feel like you a rough rider is because the person sitting next to you was ruff, ruff, looking for his dog and all this other stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can honestly say in my 30s, I have just become so more just self-aware and just spiritually aware of things that where I'm like, we are literally like spiritual beings. So we... You get what I'm saying? We we are spiritual beings. We are of the universe. You get what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get the whole ooh on you. But like I, I'm I'm definitely on my spiritual journey and I'm super, super blessed about it because I've changed in so many ways. Like I really went from really trying to beat bitches up to turning the other cheek. I knew I changed when I did a video on somebody and I woke up the next day and I had like 25 comments from her. I don't know how she doing it. I dropped this video of her. If you watching this now, sis, I wish you best. I wish you the best of luck. I don't want no smoke, okay? But I don't know how sis found out that I dropped this video. She left me so many comments. I legit just deleted them. And kept that's it. how I knew. I was like, oh, yeah, sis. Oh, yeah, sis. You you definitely growing. Because the old me, I would have been like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get active. <laughs> I'm back outside your door again. <laughs> but I'm just... I'm just, just so like super, and I'm, I'm pretty sure as far as her that she's grown and she's changed too. I, I would hope so, cause child, we all getting old. I'm probably older, but but you right behind me. But all in all, it just it just shows you that when you stop messing with a certain people, like your life change. Even even for the person I'm talking about now who found the video on her and commented, her, her life changed for the better when she stopped fucking with me. <laughs> when we stopped fucking with each other, both of us went up. <laughs> Both of us was the issue. More so me. I'll admit that. I'll admit that. I was definitely the issue. I can be very toxic. I mean, I give you that. But I'm on my spiritual journey and I'll admit when I'm wrong. You get what I'm saying? So I, I get it. I get it. One thing I can say that has been super, super helpful on this spiritual journey is manifesting, meditating, and scripting. Like, I really have, like, this book right here. I got it from Target. <laughs> Target. Faith can move mountains. Matthew um, chapter 17, verse 20. I got this bad boy from Target and it really stood out to me. And like scripting is just so, so like therapeutic. And the crazy part is like your mind is so powerful. Like your thoughts are so powerful. Your words, whatever you put your mind to happen. There's so many things that I've written down in this book that have came for life. This apartment I'm living in right now literally manifested it i promise you i manifested this like words of my mother on the sunday night cooking llama beans and fried chicken with the white rice i manifested this apartment okay and i got a whole bunch of other stuff that i manifested but i'm taking it one day at a time it's so there's so many things that i've written down in this book that has came for tuition like it's it's crazy like from from this apartment to wow that's crazy i just opened up on a page right now and i ain't trying to get sensitive and cry i took me now to do my makeup but from this apartment 
I ain't going to tell you the address, but I, I got the address of my apartment, and I wrote down beautiful, modern apartment with parking, gym, laundry mat. Baby, this building got it all. You shit me? Like, come on. But don't get me wrong. We are all humans, and we have those days where we get depressed or we feel discouraged and so on and so forth. But I'm not even going to hold you. I will really just open up this book and just read a few pages of the things that I didn't have that... I am now living in and just express my gratitude because this three years ago, four years ago today, I was at my mama house in a two bedroom apartment, a little ass two bedroom apartment. All my mother do is buy a whole, hunch, a, a whole heap of stuff she don't need, GG, okay? And put it all over the place. It was five much, I ain't got time. So I'm just, I'm just super, 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 super blessed child. I'm I'm blessed. Like I'm I'm grateful for my friends, the ones that's in my corner. I'm definitely grateful. Definitely, there are two friendships that I'm kind of like you know working on, trying to get out you know get get back in the groove. Cause one of them, her ass had me and my other friend. Mind you, I'm I'm a name drop. Mind you, Jewel Jewel pregnant. She got me and Jewel in the Bronx banging on her man's grandmother's door. We are banging this woman's door down. Boom, 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 boom. We, we banging this woman's door down. We calling her phone. We calling a nigga phone because we think it's something going on type shit. ain't supposed to be going on. So we showed up like, like, like the SWAT team, nowhere to be found. To the point where her dude, I guess his friend was in the hallway. He recorded us kick down the grandmother door from the side. Like he from CIS NBC. So I'm like, you know what, sis, we gotta go. We we are, we're putting ourselves out there. You get what I'm saying? We trying to help somebody who don't want to be helped at the moment. So how I deal with that, I just kind of like just fell back a little bit. Like if she ever want to call or talk to me, whatever, I'm here type shit. But no, you really made me come all the way to your man's grandmother's house after I got off of work, knowing damn well I'm tired, to bang on that woman's door. I don't know if they was in the corner, sitting up like this, while we banging on the door, banging it down and shit, and they hiding and what have you. I don't. It, it was just five months. After that, I just I just fell back a little bit because I I don't really know. You know, people like life be life in, and you have to really be like empathetic as far as like what people are going through. Like you get what I'm saying. Like life, life is a mother father. Your life might be going peaches and cream, but somebody might be in a fucking shit show, and the damn the star is done. And then. My other friend, mind you, I met her in college. My other friend, her ass done got a new nigga. She light skin, he light skin. The motherfuckers don't know me no more. They done drove off into the sunrise. Not even the sunset. They so bright, they go into the sunrise. And I'm just like, oh, you got a new nigga? You brand new, sis? I'll admit, I'm definitely jealous. Because before this damn light, bright nigga came around, we was outside. We was here, there, everywhere. It was a fiesta, it was a party. We was playing how to go seek. Yes, we was playing how to go seek, that's the game. Okay, we playing old May. You feel me, uno? My amigo, she got this new nigga, he just snatched her up. Anybody seen so-and-so? No, she gone. She went to the light. That's what happened when these two lights can just get together, you see nobody. Ugh. I'm definitely jealous as far as that. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. Because I'm so used to, like, you know. And then she used to live around the corner from me and everything. So it was just so convenient. She'll drop her dog off. It was cool. Till my cat came and tried to beat up the door. It but just goes to show you that everybody's growing. Everybody trying. Life be lifing. Okay? And it is what it is. And I also got to understand that there's just certain things I can't offer as a friend. As a friend, I cannot take you to Pound Town. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm sorry, friend, so do your thing because I can't, I can't help you, baby. All right, unless you want to go to the liquor store. Like this video has been all over the place. I've been bumping my gums about a whole lot of nothing. But ultimately, I just, I just feel so blessed. I just feel so, so, so blessed. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. There is, I don't know if you guys know about PMJ. Pastor Mike Jones. What? P M 
Jay Pasta Mike Pasta Mike Jones. Him, just just type that in on YouTube. Just type that in. That man right there. I am virtually down with that man's church. I have never physically been to one, but virtually, oh, I'm there. I'm there. That right there, like his, the way he preaches, his sermons, it just speaks to me. It just resonates with me. Maybe because, you know, he's 40, I'm 30, so we right, we low-key in the same age group without being in the same age group, so he know how to break it down for a bitch to understand. If I feel like I'm discouraged or I'm overwhelmed or, or it's just too much, I hop up in this book, I script, I pray, I manifest, and child, I meditate and I get my mind right. Because as long as my mind is right, can't nobody bring me out of character. Even that work, child, the people don't be trying to bring me out of character and I be so proud of myself because I'm like, girl, look at you growing. Because the old Jew would have ragged that bitch. What? The old Jew would have had that bitch toe tag. Like, why? So I just, I, I, I be really, I just feel so blessed and abundant and healthy and wealthy. Child, this spiritual journey is amazing. I wish I would have turned 30 like 30 years ago because this is perfect, child. But pretty much that's the end of this video. I am definitely drunk. I always start these damn videos completely sober and end up toe up from the flow up, sipping out these damn cups from Timo. But pretty much that is the end of this video. Um, I just wanted to just vent a little bit and just let Clear the smoke up a little bit in the air with the people. So let them know just because I outgrew you don't mean we got beef. That's it. Like, relax. Ma, we, I see you over there. Way over there. Stay over there. But like I said, just because I outgrew you don't mean we got beef. I ain't beefing with nothing. I ain't beefing with nobody. Life's too short. I ain't beefing with nobody. Nobody. But... Pretty much, that's the end of this video. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment, turn on that bell notification because Mama's is lit. I am toe up, I'm gonna flow up. I'm gonna take this makeup off and lay down. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. No, we can't be friends. See the fate they gon' pretend. I just made a couple bands. I'ma spend it count again.